the transversus abdominis is kind of hard to draw 2D, so I drew a posterior pelvis and spine, and then here's the anterior pelvis, linea alba, and the coastal cartilage of ribs 6 through 12. So we'll start with the origin because this muscle starts posteriorly and wraps around anteriorly. The origin of the transverse abdominis begins with the thoracolumbar fascia, which is back here on the spine posteriorly. The inguinal ligament shown here in the dots, the iliac crest, and the costal cartilage of ribs six through 12. The transverse abdominis insertion is the linea alba, the pubic crest, and the pectineal line. So starting back here with the thoracolumbo fascia, the muscle will come around to wrap around anteriorly to the linea alba, the pubic crest, and the pectineal line. For a better visual, here's the transversus abdominis highlighted in the Complete Anatomy app. The innervation is the ventral rami from T7 through T12 and L1. The blood supply consists of the medial branches off the musculophrenic artery, the deep circumflex iliac artery, superficial epigastric artery, and superficial circumflex iliac artery. The transversus abdominis action, bilateral, BIA, is to compress the abdominal viscera and to aid in expiration. Now, Netter's and Gray's anatomy textbooks both confirm this action. I did find in another atlas of anatomy of mine that the transversus abdominis aids in unilateral ipsilateral rotation, which means one-sided, same side, trunk rotation. However, since Netters and Grace did not confirm this, we will simplify it by keeping it with compressing viscera and aiding in expiration.